All right. So this is it. This is the last of the series, I promise. Uh, thank you for watching all of this. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if this is your first time or your first viewership on this whole uh, thing, then make sure you watch all those previous videos. So disclosure again, this automation with Clavio, you got to make sure that all of the steps you follow them through. Otherwise, you might come across some issues. Um, so this is the last video of the multi series. What you're going to learn here is how to create an automation, right? So that, you know, once they go ahead and add their email to your pop up, uh, and of course, you systematically already program your discount code in Shopify, that Clavio can automatically send that email to your client. That's what we're trying to focus on in this in this video. We're trying to make it so that they send out that email to the client once they actually show up. And it's based on this automation. Clavio calls it flows. Okay. So I hope you enjoy this video again, subscribe, like, let me know if you like this series type of thing. Okay. And also let me know if you're interested into an exclusive Academy that I'm preparing you. I left a very special message at the end that if you watch the end of this video, this is going to open a lot of eyeballs and you're going to be like, Whoa, I've never heard of someone say this. Maybe you have, I don't know. But anyways, thank you for watching once again, and I will see you soon. Take care. All right. We've created the email that they need to see. What we need to do next is create an automation, create an automation so that when they sign up, they get that email. We're almost done. <laughs> and I know I sound crazy, but I'm really working hard for you guys. I want to make sure that you guys get your time's worth. So now what we're going to do, the word automation, according to Clavio, it's called flows. That's what this is here. Flows. Let's click on this. Okay. Flows is if someone does this, then they get that. That's what it is. It's the action. We need to program it. Let's begin. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a flow from scratch. Okay. Because that's how we do things here. We do things customized. Okay. We don't do automation pre-fills. We do things the right way. Let's go ahead and create a flow, guys. A flow, not a float, flow. We create a flow and we have options. We could do this from scratch or we could grab from one of these templates here, right? Uh, the one that I want to say that would work best is the welcome series. So let's click on this one. And as you can see right here, this is the flow as to how that goes. It says, look, when someone subscribes, we could have a conditional split. Where is it? Yes, no. And the yes, no is, has have they placed an order at least once over the course of time? If yes, then do this. If not, then do something else. Uh, otherwise, wait three days and then, you know, sort of stuff. So we're going to grab this. We're going to chop it up, right? And so right here, we're going to say, hmm, we're going to say sign up flow 10% off, okay? We're going to do that. The trigger, let's see here, the trigger signups from the pop-up. Okay, we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and create the flow. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. So we're here. This is getting technical. Okay. The trigger, the cause and effect. That's what we're figuring out here. Okay. So from here, we're going to say what triggers it. What's triggering this action when someone subscribes from the pop-up? Okay. If I click on this one, all right, from the pop-up. Mm -hmm. Everything's good. Uh, so that's done there. Conditional split, right? Has placed, uh, the customer, whoever has signed up, has placed an order at least once over time, all right? So if they have, then they get something. If they have not, then they get something else, okay? So that's, that's the deal there. So what this really overall means is what happens when, um, when the user, they use the discount code, right? 
they came into the store, they grabbed the discount code for signing up, but then, you know, two weeks later or maybe a month later, they come back or you remember those 90 days or 30 days, right? They come back and they see that pop up again, giving them another 10%. Well, I don't want to continue giving them 10%. You know, like I don't I don't want to just continue doing that. Um, I just want those that are for the first time signing up, right? So if they've placed an order at least once, then they're gonna get an email that says, Thanks for subscribing, which is a you know generated standard email here. But if they haven't ordered at least once, which is the no. These are the people that we want. They never purchased. So these are the people that we want to give them that email. Let's see if I could go edit this. So if we have this here, welcome to your first order, so-and-so, right? Let's see how we could change this. So to not confuse you, what I went was, what I went was, what am I talking about? What I did was that I deleted it. So the way that you delete it is you go right here and you click on delete. Okay, so for no, I deleted that block. It's gone, no more, kapui, right? So we're gonna grab this one right here where it says email. We're gonna click, hold, drag this, and we're gonna put that right there. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we are going to just click on the box to make it blue. And what we're going to do is configure the content of this email. And you see what type of email would you like to create? You remember, we already made a template. We don't need to go through this, right? Let's choose a template, okay? And from the template, we're going to go to my templates. Remember, you already made one in the previous steps. And here's our template right there. There it is. I'm going to click on that, and we're going to go ahead and save that content. We don't need to make no more edits. The email is, the email is ready, right? Let me turn off my phone because we're in a serious conversation, you and I. Okay? And so it's from your business. It's from the email address, right? The email subject here is what I promised you. Something nice. You could put emojis or whatever, but just don't put like discount or nothing like that because we don't want Gmail to automatically like, you know, uh, spam it or something like that. Here's that preview text. You remember that preview text that I was telling you about? That, that, that thing, no immediate action is required. There it is. Okay. Okay, so that's the preview text. Here is the content itself. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to say done. All right. Save changes. Save changes. Done. Okay. So... It, have they placed the order at least once over the course of time? No, they're a new client. They're going to get this email. But if they have, you could create another email saying, hey, you know, thanks. We already, it seems like we already gave you a discount code. You could create another email template regarding that, right? But these are the people that you're looking for right here, okay? So that's what that means there, right? And we could go ahead and make that live. Live meaning that, you know, hey, it's working. Okay. All right. So once they once that uh, that's done, it's saying wait three days, right? Wait three days. Like, why would we want to wait three days? Well, what happens if they purchase from you or they didn't purchase from you? You could add another you know sophisticated logic to it. Like like right here, we could say have they purchased yes or no, and if they haven't purchased, I'm gonna send them another email saying. Hey, did you ever get to use that discount code I made for you? That's why this flow thing is so powerful, right? But in our case, we're we're not we're not going to worry about that stuff. So, we're going to go ahead and delete this right here, delete the time delay, and we're also going to delete this one right here, this email because we're technically done. And we're going to save and exit. Our flow is complete, our flow is live. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to test. Let's test this out, shall we? Okay, so let's do this, incognito window. Let's go to this website. I'm in here, I'm looking around, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna leave, and boop, this comes out. So I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Let me try it. 
Let's see what's up. Send me the code. Got you covered. Check that spam mail, right? Okay, sure, no problem. Let's go check it. Okay, so I'll close that out right there. Close this experience out right here. Let's go to my email and ooh, another store, confirm your subscription. This guys, you might like or you might not like, okay? So confirm your subscription. There are, again, I, I can express the importance of this. There are laws, especially in the UK and Europe, uh, that you have to have this, right? You must, you must, no questions asked, okay? So for security purposes, I would say keep this on, but if you feel that this is super annoying and you don't want this, I believe that there's a setting in Clavia where you could disable this, okay? But I think in order to keep yourself away from lawsuits and all that type of stuff, I think that it's important for you to keep this as is. So I'm gonna say, yeah, I wanna subscribe, you know? That's cool, I've been subscribed. Dope. Okay. Uh, so what that's called, it's called an opt-in email. It's called an opt-in email, making sure that you agreed to sign in. Okay. So what happened afterwards? You'll notice that from the moment that we got that opt-in and I did that for you guys, um, you'll notice that several minutes have passed. You see 746, 748. Okay. So right here, if I clicked on that's that, it, it takes a little bit of time in order to get the email, probably a few minutes. So click on this and boom, there it is. Now I know it looks kind of Miami ish or whatnot, but the email does work. And that's what it is, guys. I know I made this video a little bit long. Okay. But I really wanted to walk this through from beginning to end. I know there's a lot of steps. And I know that there's a lot of like, you know, small little shortcuts here and there and goofball moves and all that. But what did we solve? I helped you connect Clavio. I helped you build a list. I helped you build emails. I helped you build a logic. All of this stuff is what I'm telling you right now, what I'm showing you right now. If you felt like this is just too time consuming, yeah, you could contact me and I'll charge you 3000 a month. Okay. But I'm trying to save money. I'm trying to save you money. I'm trying to save you a headache. I'm trying to teach you so you could do it yourself. And I have a surprise for you guys. I am planning on building an academy, but not to sell you a course like these gurus that are out there. No, 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 no. See, my goal is to put money in your pocket. What I'm planning on doing, okay? And for those that are interested, please subscribe because I'm gonna really put money in your pockets on this one. Get this, right? I'm going to create an academy to show you the basics because eventually, you know, I have a lot of people that come to me asking me, Edwin, I want you to build me a website or Edwin, I want you to build me this. I want you to do that or whatever it is that I just showed you right now. I want you to do that. And I'm going to say, or what have, been, what have I been saying? What I've been saying is, sorry, you know, for something like this, I charge 3K, 5K, whatever. And they're like, oh my God, Edwin, you're so expensive. So what happens if I create an academy and I show you guys how to do it, you become part of my academy. Who am I going to give those jobs to? I'm going to give them to you because you're part of my academy and I trained you how to do it. You see, that's the value of me and YouTube. I want to teach you so that if you're interested, you could build your store and you could create money. But if you become a part of my academy soon, I'm going to start giving you leads so that you could make money that way too. Thank you once again. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're interested in this. Help the channel grow so I could put more dollars in your pockets. Have a wonderful weekend and evening. Take care.